It's a Walmart special, a rollback. in Tucker, Georgia with my good buddy Jeff Moyle. Say hey Jeff. Hey Jeff. <laughs> going to hole number one. Uh, not sure if we're gonna play the whites or the blues. We're gonna check it out when we get there. Uh, they are actually closing the course at 2 p.m. due to bad weather. So they said we can just go ahead and go. So that's what we're gonna do. Right, so first hole went driver three wood pitching wedge. I'm on the green. Green to regulation, first hole, new course. Bad weather, all kinds of dread. So far so good. So I'm gonna quit now. <laughs> uh, but we're not counting my breakfast ball. Honestly, we didn't warm up at the range. The guy gave us the option of going ahead and going out because we were supposed to start at like 11.30. And he said we would need to be off the course by two because they're closing due to bad weather coming in. So I'm not feeling bad about knocking out the breakfast ball. And I missed a two foot putt for par. So bogey onto hole number two. What does it say? Par what? How many yards? It's gonna be 309 probably. Oh, so it's a drivable par four. <laughs> Two. Driver, nine iron. Uh, the ball landed on the right side of the green, but then rolled just past it. So I'm fine with that. Absolutely. Oh, no. <laughs> so bad chip. Two putts. Ended up doubling. Double bogey on that one. On to number three. All right, that par three, I shot it over the green, then chipped onto the green, but it rolled off the back side. Chipped on to putt for double. But hey, it's okay. Better than work. So that hole was a disaster. Totally blow up. Par three hole. First one I hit in the junk, didn't clear the junk. Second one I hit over and way left. Then I chipped over, then I chipped over. Uh, and I gave up. I'm just taking a max six on that one. So it was just kind of ridiculous. I was over that. But uh, lost ball update. I am at three. Lost the first ball I hit, but I probably could have found it. It was just on the opposite side of the fairway in today's car path only. And it was near the driving range, so probably could have located the area, but maybe not the ball, <laughs> I don't know. And then uh, the last two holes, I lost one off the tee into the forced carry area. So still having a good day. All right, hole six was a par four. I got a double bogey on that. Got lucky really, uh, just barely cleared the forced carry and my ball was a little bit buried in leaves so I was lucky to find it. Found it and got it out <clears throat> and then again I was lucky to find it and uh, got it out from there onto the green and I was on the opposite side of the green there was a big level change which is what I'm gonna blame my three putt on. So anyway uh, we picked up a playing partner at hole one. I'm sure he's a nice guy but I'm glad to be rid of him. I told him to go ahead and go on. So, it's just Jeff and I now. Yay! And, uh, ooh, I have honors. So, as far as this course goes, yeah, it's a bit challenging. Uh, granted, we're on the front nine. Maybe it's easier than, uh, well, there's not really a back nine. I guess there is. Legacy and Heritage are the two that are normally played, and then the other nine is used for overflow. That's what he said. So I'm up yeah. there. 
Yeah. It's right on top of it. Oh, do you see it? All right. But yeah, it's a nice course. I would say the fairways are in good shape. The greens are in good shape. Uh, we're cart path only today because it's so wet. So we're trying to hit them towards the cart path and I'm on the other side of the fairway. So I messed up there. You see it? Yeah. It's straight across. Yeah. Right. I'm a million miles away. So here we go. Straight down the middle of the fairway, probably not more than 200 yards, but uh, did I mention straight down the middle of the fairway? So I'm all right with that. Get a favorable bounce. Ah, you're good. Hey. Oh, it's in the way. Yeah, I forget to do that on course vlogs. My course vlogs are usually like, oh, I suck at golf. Say hey, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Oh, nice. <laughs> I'm learning. It can be taught. So, yeah, I'm right there. Not bad, man. Yeah. All right, so Jeff tells me, good wedge. So, I need to hit a good wedge here. That's the plan. Plan is good wedge. Ball's gonna be below my feet. Flag's in the front. Just need to get it on so I can have an uphill putt. I think I hit it with my face open a little bit, like, uh. oh, get in the hole. Nice, Jeff. So it went out a, bit, a little bit right. Speed was okay. And see if I can putt this in for par. Not an easy putt. Looks like there's a lot of break in it. You know, I forget which one it is, and don't tell me. If they say it's harder for right handers, or right left, or left right, don't tell me, because I don't want to know. Okay. Because I don't want to be thinking about it. Oh, this is the hard one. Judge, good. Oh. oh, now stop. Look at it roll away. Yeah. Big right-handed putters, left to right. As well. I don't want to know. <laughs> Tree putt for double. Still, I mean, for me, new course. Supposedly a tough course. Windy conditions, rainy, all that crap. Double bogey. It's fine. So I thought I lost my tee shot to the right, so I hit one, and then found my tee shot, ha <laughs> ha, and it was, uh, okay, and I hit it, and it was all right, in a bunker, it's still going to be about 50 away, eesh, eesh. So yeah, this is a nice facility. Crazy undulations on the fairways. The greens have a lot of different levels. Uh, more bunkers than what I'm used to by far. So we have a fairway bunker. This is 104 to the center of the green. Let's see what I can do with this. Came off the club face going right. Landed on a hill on the right hand side of the green and bounced right. I think it is in crap down there. I think that's going to be a lost ball. Came from up that way, hit this side of the hill there, and it bounced that way. So it's in the crap. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to drop one over here and chip it on. It's not the PGA Tour. Hmm. 
Come on, roll back down. Roll back down. Uh. Oh. Oh, and he makes a putt. Horror. Horror. Right, one was the tee shot, which I thought I lost, but fortunately I didn't. Two got me in the bunker. Three got me into the woods. Lost ball four, drop five. On the green six, three putt, seven, eight, nine. Eesh. All right, par four, straight ahead, playing a Pilora. Wait a minute, is that one of those fly straight balls? They do kind of fly straighter if you line it up correctly off the tee. I can fade it, but I can't slice it. But they they do not have, because of the dimple pattern, you lose a lot of distance. They're I straight. I really notice that. I watched Rick Shields' uh, review on them. Oh, uh, I'm putting together a review on them, actually. Just gotta finish editing it. That is beautiful. That's where I wanted to be. Yeah. A little two or three yard fade. Not bad at all. all right. Anyway, super straight with the Polara. Just faded a little bit. Just gonna come out of these trees here in a moment. But yeah, look at this golf course. This is nice. All the undulations, all the bunkering. Some water. Pulled it, but it went straight. <laughs> All right, ended up there. Green's there. So, well left, but not bad. Alara, once again, did go straight. It just went straight on the uh, trajectory it started on. He's backed off of it a little too much. Yeah. Drop down, what does it do for you? I think it's in. No ball on the green. Oh, think it might have gone in? It's a Walmart special, a rollback. All right, we're playing the Heritage 9 now. It's 102, we're supposed to be off the course by two, so certainly won't be able to finish, but we're gonna try to play as quickly as possible. It's supposed to be an easier, shorter course. Said it can be played in like an hour and 15 or an hour or something like that. So we'll see what we can do. My first shot was kind of a sky ball, went right. Stuck behind a tree, but because it's not the PGA, I moved it. And then I hit it with my three wood. Hit a pretty good lick with the three wood. Gonna be up, uh, I think, short of the bunkers before the green. Five holes on the second nine. Yeah. Yeah. We got a tornado watching the area. The um, manager came by and gave us a couple of rain checks for 18 holes. Good anytime. So, I mean, we paid 20 bucks each for the round of golf. We had a good time. Uh, I wasn't happy with the way I played. You? Not particularly. <laughs> but you know, like always, we had fun. So the weather's gonna cut us a little short. But all in all, I like this golf course. We will be back. Do a real vlog. Next yeah, time. yeah. Do a real vlog. Better weather, but hey, you know, it might be crowded. At least we didn't have to worry about that this time. We'd like to finish the round, but yeah, the guy says he needs to get his people out of here at home. We'll do that. All right. 
So that's as far as we got on our round at Heritage Golf Links in Tucker, Georgia. Uh, like I said in the video, we got a really good deal on it, and then we ended up getting a rain check for 18 holes after we played 15 holes. So it was a really good deal, and I tell you what, I really like the course. I really like that golf course. Uh, of course, I wish I had been playing better, but uh, you know, it, it's me and it's golf, so that's the way it goes. Still had a good time with Jeff, and we're definitely gonna go back and take advantage of those rain checks, but uh, I can't say enough about this course. The fairways were just, I've never seen undulations in the fairways like that. Um, lots of bunkers. Otherwise, I mean, it was a fair course. It was fair. Um, fair, I mean, it wasn't extremely tight. It wasn't extremely hard. It was a challenge. Um, but, you know, it wasn't ridiculous. I've played a few courses around here that, uh, to me, just seemed like ridiculous. But I want to revisit them when I'm playing a little better also. I'm not sure if it was really that ridiculous or if it was just me that's ridiculous. So anyway, I hope you liked the video. Uh, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I've got new videos out. Uh, follow me on Twitter and follow me on Instagram, all right? And here's some other videos you should check out as well. Thanks. Bye.